youth forms a greater number of the population of Western Kenya. Uh, youth, when they finish school, uh, 50 to 60 percent still end up in agriculture activities, uh, which they are not trained to uh, undertake. We have so many youth who have even gone to school, but they don't have any formal em employment. So they tend to lease land, at least to have income of their own. You, you know, you can get the products very fast, mm -hmm. market them, get the money very fast, and you use it for something else. They don't own the land. The land belongs to their parents. So we are, we are trying to look at all aspects of the value chain that can allow the young people to access land or even lease land because the youth don't necessarily want to produce, but they want to be able to market, aggregate, even do a little bit of agro-processing. But definitely in terms of uh, accessing land, the youth do have a problem because the, the older people don't want to allow them to have ownership or even to access the land for what they would want to do. As long as there are ways and means through which youth can access land, they would be able to harvest, meaning they get food, others would sell. From the sales, they would take their children to school, they would get their basic needs. Any activity even beyond agriculture which doesn't involve the youth is doomed to fail. The county is addressing this uh, particular aspect through our polytechnic where we are taking the youth and the women to train in aspects that might not require land. And the major module that they deal with is entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship doesn't require land because after we have harvested our maize, you can decide to hire a shop, buy, land, buy maize and store there and sell when the prices are much higher. I think this will be go a long way because they are much easier to take up innovations and uh, new technologies other than the old farmers. As you know, agriculture is changing and is the next frontier where we will have uh, the really economic activities helping our nation and our county specifically.